It's time for Arts Beat with Marie Yanaka. Hi, Marie. Hi. Today, Hello. I'm taking you to the La Folle Journée Music Festival. La Folle Journée. Why is that in French? <laughs> well, it's in French, but it was actually held in Japan. Uh, the event was held over three days, and more than 400,000 people came to central Tokyo to enjoy classical music. The event originated in France. It's also held in Spain, Poland, and Russia. The theme for this year was music and nature, and the audience enjoyed many pieces that relate to nature. Shoji, a violinist known around the world, played Max Richter's recomposition of Vivaldi's The Four Seasons. I like the sound of wind and the leaves or birds singing. It's really amazing how they how they can make music so naturally. It's the the best musicians. You know? Widely acclaimed pianist Pierre Laurent Aymard played Olivier Messiaen's Catalogue du Ozo with an actual bird song, a motif of the score. Même chose au piano, où on entend deux, trois, quatre, cinq fois le même motif. My goal was to show what was the source of inspiration of Messiaen, what he heard, what he had seen, and which emotions he could have in front of marvelous landscape, in order to appreciate better the way how he made transcriptions or composition inspired by this experience. I seen him traveling, writing the bird songs that he would hear suddenly, or having always the time for paying attention about what was around him. I found this was the most extraordinary, this ability to listen to the world, to human beings, and to, well, all the um, creation, so to say. I believe that nature is inherent in music. The first music that was born in this world was bird songs. They inspired composers. I believe nature has always been part of music. This is especially so from the Renaissance to modern times. You can see the strong influence that nature has had on music. It has influenced composers to our time, including Toru Takamitsu, Japan's leading composer. Nature can be found in all his works. As the artistic director for the festival just said, Toru Takemitsu composed many pieces inspired by nature, and many of them have words like rain, tree, or a forest in the title. This year happens to mark the 20th anniversary of Takemitsu's death, so the festival featured many of his works. Mm. I believe Takemitsu is, is known globally, and his November Steps is played by many orchestras in the world. That's right. Now here's a story about Takemitsu and the people who have been inspired by his music. Michiyoshi Inoue, the conductor, knew Toru Takemitsu. He and the orchestra performed Green in his memory.
彼自身タケミツさんは僕に小声で言ってたんですよ。ね、後に残る一つの感じがして。あ、ホルンコンチェルトの。マーキー・タケミツ、The Composer's eldest daughter, held a public conversation with Dai Fujikura, a Japanese composer who lives in London. She recalled an episode from her childhood. When I heard the song of a bird, I was struck by its beauty. I asked my father why we can't compose beautiful music like this. He said that we should leave bird songs up to the birds. He said that he could not make the same beautiful sounds, so instead, he would draw inspiration from them and use musical instruments to express them. Fujikura has received many international prizes for his compositions. His honors include commissions from the BBC Symphony Orchestra. For this music festival, he produced a program titled Thinking of La Nature with Dai Fujikura. One of the pieces he chose was by Takemitsu, one of his favorite composers. I think one of the most different is I feel like Takemitsu is focusing more on inside of the humanity. So sometimes it can be beautiful, but sometimes it can be ugly somehow. And I feel like Chance Monsoon, in Chance Monsoon, Dai Fujikura focus on more nature rather than humanity. The kind of music I want to write also is quite、uh, highly energy charged music, which, in a way, Takemitsu's music never really is like that. So, therefore, I need to do something opposite. Fujikura appeared on stage for a piece with an Andean motif. It's called Manaya Chana, meaning the unknown. My nature is it's a completely in my head. The, the mountain, the river, I mean, river could look like a river, could, the color of the river could be green, or the, the ocean could look purple. I mean, for me, the, I get inspired from the nature in there rather than the actual nature. <laughs> It's intriguing to see how the musicians approached the theme of nature in such different ways.、Mm, music and nature have always been closely related. People today may respond to it in their own ways, but the inspiration remains strong. Thanks, Marie. Thank you. Thank you.